Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm sure fun. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the good Lord bless you bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is a specific word, and I pray in the name of Jesus that this word will bring you hope, that this word will bring you peace, that this word will bring a confirmation to your heart, that this word will bring you direction and clarity in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, that's a sign. The first sign you are going to know that this word is yours, the first sign you are going to see to confirm that this word is yours is that you're going to feel at peace immediately you hear this word. They confirmation in your spirit will be peace there will be a confirmation in your heart and that will be the peace of god hallelujah the lord says that this has been programmed to happen in the next couple of days this has been programmed to happen in the next couple of days the lord began to speak to me about this person and the lord says that he's about to visit you and he's about to do for you according to that which he had promised i know i know that you have been waiting on the manifestation of this for a very long time but i want you to understand that there is something called the appointed time the appointed time is the time that god has scheduled on his calendar to do what he has said he would do you know just like when you you set goals and you begin to put those goals against time right you specify the time for those goals that's the same thing with god when god promises to do something when god plans to do something he sets it against a certain time and that is what we call an appointed time and sometimes it might be in the haze sometimes we might feel like the time is so far sometimes you might feel like it's too long but the lord is saying telling me to tell this person that you are in your appointed season and there is about to be a manifestation Manifestation. You see, this is the problem. When you hear this prophetic word that says that you are in your appointed season, you might ask yourself, now, why has it not happened yet? Why has it not happened? Why is there no miracle? I want to make you understand something. The process is the beginning of the manifestation. Many people don't understand this. I want you to understand this today, that the process is the beginning of the manifestation. You see, God's answer prayer is not a dot, it's a sentence. God's answer prayer is it's not, it's not um, um, an if, should I call it an event? It's not just something that just happened. It's a process. You must understand this. The moment that God made the promise to you, he began a process. Okay, let me use an example. The story of the Israelites, right? Look at the Israelites. They, were, they prayed to God. The Bible categorically says in Exodus chapter 1, how these people cried and cried and prayed and their cry reached to heaven. That was what God, the Bible wrote in Exodus chapter 1. And God now begins to answer their prayers. And look at what happened. They went through a series of up and downs from Egypt to going through the wilderness before getting to their promised land. If you were in that situation, you'd be tempted to think that, oh, after all my prayers, God has not yet answered. Not knowing that where you find yourself right now is because of the prayer you made. Hallelujah. Where you find yourself right now is because of the prophecy that was given to you, because of the promise that God released to you. Look at the story of David. David was anointed king. And after that, he did not just automatically become king. He spent a good couple of years going through certain things. And all of that was to mold David into the promise that God had given him. You see, I said, every word, every instruction from God to you is to shape you into the promise or shape you for the promise. Many people make the mistake of thinking that the answered prayer is just the event. Oh, I had the answer prayer today. My car finally came. I had money to pay my house. But you forgot about the process. You forgot to understand that the process was the beginning of your answer prayer. Maybe it was not just the money. You had to pick up your phone, call somebody, or speak to someone, or go get a job, or leave your house to go speak to somebody. That is how your answer prayer began. Many people mistakenly eject themselves out of this. 
thinking that God has not yet answered. Not knowing that what brought them there. What the reason why they are in the place where they are right now is because of the promise that's on their head. It's because of the prayer that they made. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. I want to talk to you about the uh, I want sorry. I want to read something to you. Genesis 22, verse 1, 2. Right? It says, And it came to pass after these things that the Lord, oh, I mean Genesis 21, sorry. Genesis 21, verse 1, 2. Two, and he came to, and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken. At the set time of which God of which God had spoken. But guess what? The prayer did not just it did not just it was not just the event that was the answered prayer. Sarah went through a process, a process of conforming. She went through a process of conforming. There is something called the process of conforming. God takes you through a process. You see, hi, my God, hallelujah. The Lord is saying to my heart that that is your, that the moment you, you, you realize that you are in the process, is a sign to tell you that you are, should I say, valid, you know? You have been validated. You have been validated for this. That's the word that the Lord just laid in my heart now. The moment you see yourself in the process, that's a sign of confirmation to you. That you have been validated for this. You have been found worthy to get this. Don't show it all out because of the pain. Don't show it all out because of the pain. The process of conformity. I was talking about the process of conformity. You see, what you are praying for, where God has promised to take you to, what God has promised to do in your life, it has a portrait it recognizes. It's like a gate, a gate that has, um, should I call it, a, a, maybe a fingerprint or something, or a, 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 a certain portrait, an image. And that is the image that the gate is meant to recognize. Anyone who comes to that gate not having that image is denied access. So when God promises you and tells you, I will take you to that place, he begins to make sure he shapes you so you can conform to the image the gate can recognize. And the moment you are conformed, he takes you there and you realize that getting access is easy. That is what is called the process of conformity. And many of us, we, 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 give, out, we give up during that process. Many of us, we, we surrender at that stage. Many of us, we eject ourselves out of that stage because it looks nothing like the promise, I tell you. It looks nothing like the promise. You might sometimes you be tempted to, to think that what is this? God is just wasting my time. Because sometimes it looks nothing like the promise. But I tell you, if God takes you through that, it's because he wants to conform you to where he's taking you to. He wants to conform you to who he's taking you to. So who is making you to be the lord says in the next few days this will happen he promised you he made he said he spoke this word to you and you're about to receive the manifestation i want you had to be open what you have been going through was the process of your manifestation congratulations you have been confirmed congratulations you have been aligned it is time to carry the fruits of your of, of your level it is time to it is time to enjoy what you have been patiently waiting for i pray that this world will manifest speedily over your life in the name of jesus amen god bless you shalom